good morning. It's our last day here in Devon, and I'm sad to leave. But the rain's cleared up, and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of fly fishing before we take off. I've wanted to fly fish this creek, and I just haven't found the time. And uh, we're going to see if we can get some native brown trout. This place is so beautiful. There's actually two rivers on this property and they come together right behind me. A lot of fishable river bank. Uh, a couple guests that were here earlier this week did really well on the native brown trout in this stream. But uh, I was a little too busy with the carp fishing. But it rained a lot last night and the visibility is not that great. So it's been making things a little bit difficult. Well, I'm glad I at least had a chance to get out here and give it a try, but I need to get back to the house and make some breakfast because we're packing up and heading off to the Peak District here real soon. Back at the house and I made some breakfast and uh, we're gonna do some Marmite and Toast. This is fermented yeast extract. It smells a little bit like butt, but it's not that bad. Well, there you go. It kind of looks like chocolate spread or like a caramel. It's not. It's a very pungent, salty flavor. Sure, give it a taste. No, I came here for bacon. I don't want it. No, it tastes like bacon's butt black. Yeah. Oh, this place is fun. I'm gonna miss it. Should we go to our next adventure? Let's go on another adventure. <laughs> All, right. All right, so now we're going about five hours north to Tidewell in the Peak District in the middle of the UK. We're going to the Midlands. We're taking a little lunch break. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. for six hours and we just saw this little carvery. We're gonna stop and get some food. Well, we got the family fed. We got the bladders empty, diapers changed. Let's get going. Well, we've been driving for 10 and a half hours. We crossed half of England but we're here at our next rental property and the kids are melting down. So let's get inside. This house used to be a church. All right, let's go upstairs. You like this place, Becca? It's amazing. We got a king bed in here, skylight. Boys room in here, they're asleep. Main bathroom. Check out the master bedroom. Look at that, look at this. This place is huge. Well, at any rate, it is late and we are exhausted. So I'm gonna go to bed and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our first day in Tidewell. It is absolutely gorgeous. Got the English garden back here, flying buttresses. This congregational church was opened for the worship of God April 8th, 1888. Shut the door now. All right, let me give you a tour of the church. 
Okay, this is the video game room, but the boys aren't allowed to play video games, so they're using their imagination. No, but it's actually working for real. <laughs> In their mind. The main living area. Look at this. Literal cathedral ceilings. Well, Mommy and Jacob are still upstairs sleeping, so me and Tommy are going to take this time to go to a tackle shop and go get some breakfast. You ready, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right, come on. All right, buddy, come on. Let's go walk to breakfast. I, I Dude, look at this. That's kind of neat, huh? Tell me, you want to try something? This is called black pudding. Have you ever had this? You want some? No? It's good? No, it looks like roasted food. While the rest of the family's getting up and getting ready, me and Tommy are going to go to Angling Direct in Sheffield. You ready, Tommy? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. This, this is a mirror carp, right? And this right here, this is a tench. I got a record! <laughs> Wing, sling, more carp cradles. Over here are fishing bivvies, chairs, bed chairs over there, tons of rods, big old fishing poles, 30 feet plus. These things cost thousands of dollars. Remote control boats for your bait. Fish care antiseptic spray. First aid kit for your fish. That is so light. Well, I bought two cat fishing rods, two cat fishing reels, and a bunch of odds and ends because this week we're going to target Wells catfish. So, pretty excited about that. But we gotta get back to the house. Mom's waiting for us. Hi, I am so. Hi, Jake. Oh. It's a little drizzly outside, but we're gonna go to Shipboro. To Shipboro? Shipboro. Shaburra bro. You know, I've never even driven a van like this. Well, we pulled over at this scenic overlook here, and we're gonna have Becca try her hand at driving here in England. This may be my last entry in the vlog, as we might all die. Are you excited to try driving on the left-hand side of the road? No. <laughs> For the first time this trip, I'm gonna intentionally get in on the left side. So the pedals are the same, gas on the right, brake on the left. Turn signals are extremely optional here. That's your, your gear shift. Oh, we're okay. Yep, no, we're good, go for it. And give it some juice, it's got, it's got some power. You're driving! driving. Turning? Turning. Yes! Oh, you're in the ditch, you're in the ditch, you're in the ditch. Yeah, yeah, that's alright. Woo! There you go, babe, you're doing it. We're here at Shugborough Estates and Farms, and uh, we're just doing whatever Melanie and Becca want to do. It'll be fun. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Guys, see, look at this. This is where they did their laundry. That's what the soap looked like. Look at this. They put the irons up against. They build a fire in there. Nice. Yeah. Look at this. Don't look at it. It's inappropriate. Melanie had fun. Yay! Yay! Well, we're all pretty hungry, but we wanted to eat something a little different, so uh, we stopped in at this Bangladeshi Indian restaurant. Yay! The veggies, the meat, the... Chicken biryani, buttered chicken, tikka masala. Oh, that's good. I gotta tell you what, guys, I was so in the mood for a curry, and that just hit the spot. Yeah. 
Well, we're back at the house. We're full of Indian food. We've had a great day, but we are going to bed. Well, welcome to another beautiful Sunday, guys. We're leaving our little church here to go to another church. And uh, you can hear the, the village church bells going off. All right, well, my kids have destroyed another church and we had a grand time, but now we are going to go to Sherwood Forest and Nottingham. That's just down the street, not too far. So we're gonna go check that out. And the boys are very excited about that. Okay, we've discovered a new road trip treat. It's called a yum yum. It's basically a croissant covered in like a toffee syrup. It tastes a little bit like a cronut, if you're familiar with that. It is delicious. Mm. Oh. It's earned its name. It's yeah. a yum yum. It's a yum yum. That's not Good. pretentious. That's no. just how Good. it is. Little John walking through the forest. The noodle lolly golly what he wants. <laughs> okay, we've now driven to Nottinghamshire to Sherwood Forest, the home of who? And we're gonna hike to the Major Oak. The Major Oak is like this thousand year old oak tree that they believe that legend has it is where Robin Hood and his men camped out. And it also won British Tree of the Year many years in a row. So it's a notable tree. So we're gonna go check this out. You taking your brother? Uh, oh, ow, ow. Here, this is the major oak. And look at that beauty. And this? this is the Robin Hood Festival. Of course, they've got a little archery range over here. Gotta have that. Nathan, are you climbing up there? And look at it, this forest is just pockmarked with these ancient trees. There's another one over there. Another one right there. Are you an outlaw up there? Uh, yeah. Thomas, Thomas, what happened to your shirt? I tripped on the wall. Oh, and it, I got a sword. You blow into it and it makes music. Yeah. Well, this is a pretty fun little festival. We had no clue this was here. We just walked over to go see the tree. <laughs> so let's see, it gets over the fence, but allows it to keep uh, animals in. Yeah, that goes to let your dog through. When do I do? Mama, I... The door's on sale. She said she's... Oh. <laughs> All right. The boys are watching Robin Hood on the TV. This is just how we're spending a nice, easy Sunday. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is Bliss Hill Farms. It's basically a historical recreation of a town. Uh, it's kind of like Williamsburg in Virginia, uh, only this is the Midlands England version. A lock. See, they make locks, see? Yeah, see, look at those tools on there. See that? It's where they pour uh, cast iron steel parts. And see all those things up on the wall? That's for using with the power hammer. Giant swage block. Yeah, look at that. Cobbler. All right, we just bought some old timey fish and chips that are fried in beef renderings. And I got a bunch of old timey sodas dandelion burdock, curiosity cola, rose lemonade. And mandarin. Oh, oh. Don't no more grabbing the ducks, okay? All right, I'm gonna try the dandelion burdock soda here. It reminds me a little bit of that cinola, that that Latino cola. It's like fruity with a hint of black licorice. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, it's like red licorice and, and black licorice mixed together. <laughs> I touched it! <laughs> That old blast furnace. Are you guys going to school? Yeah. 
These are old tablets. See? They only got one app on them. Everybody sitting down, stand up. All things bright and beautiful. My name is Mr. Allsop, and I am your headmaster. Members of this class will receive the cane on a daily basis. We do not tolerate left-handed people in this school. Left-handed people are misfits. Very good. Hey Tommy! So Tommy, what did you think of the class? I'm never going to go there and there ever again. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of your first day at school? Uh, I'm not so well because that was a long time. Nathan's only interested in the carousel. Oh! Hey, got the See if you guys can knock a coconut off. Oh, you hit oh. one! You excited? Yeah, we've done this before. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, a little lady with a little baby. Did you have fun? Yeah. My favorite part was horses. The horses? All right, we're going to go a few miles down the road and check out the Iron Bridge. Bridge. Think we should fish off the bridge? Cheese! Cheese! Well, we're in downtown Buxton and we decided that we really want Italian food tonight. Hey, Jacob, you like that? Yes, look at that. You guys like this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Let's give it a go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, we left the kids in the car with Aunt Melanie. They will kill her if we don't get back in about 10 minutes. We're going to go, we're going to walk through Buxton here and see some of the historic sites. We're taking a 10 minute date. <laughs> 10 minute date. What a beautiful town. I mean, isn't that pretty? Yeah. There's the Buxton Opera House. There we go, the Derbyshire Dome, the largest freestanding dome in England, apparently. We haven't met a single American on this whole trip so far. Everyone keeps saying, well, so what brings you outside of London? <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the Georgian Crescent. Some duke built a palace here and it's old Georgian time buildings and stuff. And we finish our five minute walk of Buxton behind the town hall building, which was built in 1888, the same year as the church we're staying in. <laughs> it has been another fun and amazing day, but it is time to get the boys to bed and I will see you in the morning. Well, good morning everybody and we are going to go get some breakfast in Tideswell. Nathan are headed to Home Farm Fisheries about an hour southwest of us and we're gonna try to catch our very first Wells catfish. Are you excited Nathan? Yeah. All right looks like we're here. Oh wow this place is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, can I touch it? Gently, gently. Whoa, that's so funny. Yeah, I see? It's a little baby bird. He probably, he's getting ready to fly. Yeah, we don't know where his nest is. Oh, look at that. He's, he's going to learn how to fly. This is our, our cabin, buddy. Cabin. Yeah, look at this. This is an amazing spot. Look at this. Look how picturesque this is. Yes. And we've got electricity in the cabin. Um, the guys have loaned me a, a bed chair and a chair. Um, unhooking mats, weighing slings. Yeah, we just need to get some sleeping bags and uh, we should be okay. Fishing Republic, this is one of Britain's bigger uh, fishing chain stores. Did, did you guys want this? That's, that's disturbingly on point. Hey, this will fit me and Yeah, that, that one looks pretty decent. So happy I what, got you got a pet one. maggot? Yeah, I got Look at you. His name's Mr. Maggot. <laughs> Mr. Maggot? Got it. 
<laughs> Those guys are so nice. Oh man, I don't, I don't think that's how child safety restraints are supposed to work. <laughs> hey, wake up there, buddy. Okay, Nathan, which, which bed do you want? I want a rocking high for you. Well, I got both my rods in the water, got them in good spots. We're just gonna sit here and relax a little bit and see what happens. Nathan's watching his shows, snuggled in a bag, eating pizza. Things are going good for him. So what you're telling me is that Batman got bit by a radioactive bat and that's what turned him into Batman? Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, look at these guys. Got a Wells catfish on the mat. You haven't been at it long either, have you? Ten minutes. Ten. <laughs> got it, yeah. Yeah, go on, got that. Nice. Those guys were in the water ten minutes, and they just pulled out a twenty-four pound Wells catfish. So I just need to put my bait in front of the fish. They're in here. I like everything about monsters. Catfish. Yeah, you see the line? See the yeah. line bounce like that? Yeah, that was a bite. You got him? Reel him, reel him, reel him. That one? Yeah. Yeah, you got one on there. It's a big fish, buddy. You go get the net? Get the net. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, Nate. Well, you did a great job reeling that fish. I'm sorry I lost it, buddy. I gotta get deep. I need to you get some sleep, buddy. Okay, I'll tell you some stories. Well, it's getting pretty late, so I think I better get going to bed. Uh, but I got the alarm set up, so if anything bites while I'm sleeping, it should wake me up. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, me and Nathan had a load of fun, and we had that one fish on. But other than that, it's been dead quiet. Seen tons of fish, just not biting my hook. So that tells me I got a bait problem. So we're going to head home and uh, spend the day sightseeing with mommy and Aunt Melanie and Jacob and all that. And we're gonna hit a bait shop on the way and see if we can't pick up some different baits. And then we're gonna come back here later this afternoon and try this again tonight. Ooh. All right, Nathan's got his pet maggots. Yeah, maggots, woo! Yay! Hi, Jacob! Hi! <laughs> Oh, the poor little guy missed me. All he wants to do is cuddle. Yes. Do you have it? Where are we headed? Chatsworth House. And it's famous why? Because it's the Duke and De uh, No, Duke. because it was Mr. Darcy's house in the newer Pride and Prejudice movie. Come on, Melanie. I hear the house belongs to an eligible bachelor of more than 10,000 pounds a year. Woo. You guys have to stay close. Don't walk okay. Which way do, should we go? Uh, this way. Another dead end? Another dead end. Okay, well. I told you this would end in it's certain doom. End. Yay! We got here before the scurvy set in. Yay! Never seen again. <laughs> We got Tom and Nate in the back of the van here and we're headed back to Home Farm Fisheries. Gonna try again for a Wells catfish.
This is just an amazing place to do a little father-son camping fishing trip. The boys are just loving this. Check it out, that's beautiful. What we've got to do first is find a rod. You make the rod and then we'll go and set it up. We'll catch some fish. I always wanted a, a pet bag. And, two, mean, two hardcore fishermen. Well done. It's a roach. That's a new species for you. What? I caught a new species, Nathan. All right, get to bed, buddy. It's late. I don't want to do that. I'm about to land my first Wells catfish. <laughs> that is a beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, here you go, bud. All right. Well, I don't know if that thing was even 10 pounds, but it's a Wells catfish and a new personal best. <laughs> a brand new species. Super excited. Oh, Nathan just fell out. The boys are sitting here eating a hot bacon sandwich, thanks to our very kind neighbor. Yum. You like that, Tom? Huh? Where was the boy? Yeah. Uh, do I nice little, little red fin, little perch. Oh, he Tom's having more fun fishing for those little fish with his cane pole than landing any massive fish. Well, we need to pack up a little bit, go meet Mama uh, back at the cottage, and we are gonna go do some sightseeing if I can stay awake. Hi! Yay! Now he's mine. He was crying too, Jacob, because I took stitches. Oh, so tired. Well, here we go. And it's only 30 minutes, so. <sighs> Melanie, where are we going? Lime Park. And why is this place famous? It's Mr. Darcy's house. That's the right answer. <laughs> From the original Pride and the Prejudice. The real Mr. Darcy. The real Mr. Darcy's house. Mm -hmm. Colin Firth, man, that's a scrumptious little crumpet. <laughs> For a mile and Oh, left side, left side of the road. <laughs> All right, well, I haven't slept properly in the last couple nights, so I am gonna take a little nap in the car. But uh, Becca can do some filming for me. There you go, babe. Thank you. Horses, yeah. Man, you're way better than you Dad. Mom, you want a bad wolf. I know, I'm probably gonna fall down. A hundred dollars. We're not sure if we can film in the house, so we'll see what happens. Delighted to make your acquaintance, madam. Delighted, sir. There you go. There's the staircase. Oh, yeah, there is water in there. Nice. It looks like beef. Here, stand there and I'll take your picture, okay? Okay, Nathan, hold still. No, no, don't climb on the railing. Just just hold still. Just just stand by your brother and just hold still. No. Uh, okay, well, close enough. He's using his pencil he got in from the house to be a unicorn and occasionally stabs people. Okay. Ow. Wait, they have more trees in there, right? Yeah. Ooh, this is nice. It's pretty, I like it. Hey, we gotta keep going, we gotta hurry. We're gonna run to the car and it's gonna be awesome and then we're gonna go to another place that Amelie wants to go to. Hey, we found little friends. <laughs> Well, we visited Lime Park. It was fun. <gasps> Hi, did you get a nap? No. No. So what's the name of this place we're going to now? Quarry Bank. All right, that's a cotton mill or something? Yep, an industrial cotton mill. Well, Jacob's asleep, so I might stay in the car with him and have Becca do some more video. I'll do my best. Look, we're gonna go into this old mill. Interesting. Mill. Push in. Hey, push in. Oh, here you go. Pop it over your head, and if you can reach your ear, you're old enough to work here. So if you can reach your left ear, it means that you would have been about the age of nine. Oh. So, Nathan, do you want to work in the mill? Not forever. Pretty interesting, huh, guys? Yeah. This is where I think the owner of the mill lived. Do you want to go see? Okay. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. They're now totally filthy. Whoa. Mama. Mama. Whoa. Whoa. Oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You guys gotta show Daddy your bottom. Oh my gosh. Look at his butt. He must be one of those Nichols boys. 
All right, well, I'm getting ready to head out for another day fishing, and the boys are playing with the neighborhood kids. They're having so much fun. I feel bad about tearing them away. All right, guys, we got to get going. Sorry, buds. It's our final night. This is our last chance to catch a big whales catfish. Okay, you guys, you guys want to see the bag of worms? Yeah, I grabbed them. Look at that, look at that, all those worms. So that is a lot of worms. We are not holding back. There we go, a nice little Wells catfish. Feels about eight pounds. Man, they're fun fish to catch. Well, there we go, two whales catfish. Neither one of them particularly big, but both a load of fun. Well, good morning, guys. It's the end of our fishing trip here. Uh, we're headed to Scotland today, and we've got to get on the road and get an early start on it. We just had a ball. This is an absolute beautiful fishery. If you want to come to Home Farm Fisheries in the Midlands of England, I'll put a link in the description. Did you guys enjoy camping and fishing here? Yeah! <laughs> Hello! Thanks for watching. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see part three of our three week tour to the UK, don't forget to check the link in the description and don't forget to click subscribe because we put out new videos every Saturday morning.